I think you're buying the Israeli story too much. And the Israeli narrative is absolutely wrong here. The war in Ukraine is forcing us all to make difficult decisions. A journalist for the news channel Al Jazeera has been shot dead by Israeli forces while reporting on a raid in the West Bank town of Jenin. Dina Abu Akli was very well marked as a journalist. She wore a vest that showed she was press. She was with her colleagues in Al Jazeera car, which was well, well marked. They just arrived to Jenin, which was being invaded at the same time by the Israeli army. There was no exchange of fire. Ali Smoody was one of a group of seven reporters on the scene on Wednesday morning. He said they were wearing protective gear that clearly marked them out as reporters. Well, thank you very much, Prime Minister Anderson. Thank you, Magdalena. And thank you for having your absolutely beautiful Harpsund uh, retreat together. Throughout this conflict, our Nordic partners have been leading international support, not just for Ukraine, uh, but also for European security. It's upon request of, the, uh, of, of Sweden, the UK will, of course, provide assistance. But what matters primarily is what, what Sweden uh, decides to, to request. I won't give any uh, kind of timetable uh, when we will make our decisions, but I think it will happen uh, quite fast. Министру ставил соответствующую задачу после последней встречи на Дальнем Востоке с президентом России. And the S-400 just builds upon the existing strengths of the S-300 to make it an even more deadly threat.